right, enough talk, time for action. Stop there, shipmates! A storm awakens and we've battened down the hatches. Dirty summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy, sweat-covered face to a name. That's no way to speak to a captain! Sherlock, get down! Watson, you killed him! I... I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one of many. All right. Enough talk. Time for action. sailor who didn't survive the storm. The port of London feels so long ago. Forgive me, Summers. My sanity is slipping away. I feel like I've been there. Hold on. We need a plan. All right. Enough talk. Time for action. I know this company. They make Fresnel lenses, essential for any modern lighthouse lantern. Pay for padding. They didn't want their cargo damaged.
seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. Khalid lenses are placed inside the lantern room. They modify the gallery and watch room. One moment, Watson. I'll redraw this blueprint. Enough talk, time for action. We shall apply what we just learned, charge the Khalid lenses, and break them with the dagger. That should put a stop to this cursed ritual. All right, good. I confess, I worry about what awaits us. Is it too much to hope this will all come right? If our future is black, it is better surely to face it like a man than to attempt to brighten it by mere will-o'-the-wisps of the imagination. Come on. We'll go together. Look at them all. We have to help them. Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here. See to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. Sherlock! Sherlock! Mr. Holmes, you are late. Was the path here not as you anticipated? You expected me? We've stood here before, Mr. Holmes. Another you, another me. Many years ago. I wonder what will happen this time. What? What are you talking about? Join me. Bear witness to the end. Yeah, we're gonna have a tussle. We're gonna have a tussle. We're gonna have a tussle.
You cannot bear witness to anything, Lord Rochester. You are blind. Oh. How? How could you? It is what I do. No. How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this moment. Never felt more than I feel right now. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The bile of madness rises in our throats just as our master rises below. I see moon beasts, night gaunts, a witch doctor in Arkham. I see what the stars themselves are dreaming. I know more than any man has ever known. You are delusional. How did you do it? The compulsions, the visions, was it some form of hypnosis or no? A drug, perhaps? Tell me. Ah! There is no ruse. There is no big reveal. It is exactly what it seems. You still fight so desperately against this truth. But you feel it too? Yes? Yes? You are mad. You have mistaken hallucinations for reality. Are you really one to talk, Mr. Holmes? Speak truthfully now. In the port. In the swamp. What did you see? Something beyond the capacities of my imagination, our world so alien, but... But so familiar. Yes, I see it too, in your mind's eye. Untold horrors lick their lips in the shimmering dreamlands, as Sarnath seeks eternal.
It's completely broken. Something is missing here. Interesting. Useful. What are you hoping to achieve with all this slaughter? Do these people deserve such suffering? They are just tools. Their existence is meaningless unless put to use. Oh, all-seeing master. Oh, grand god beneath. How he has blessed them with purpose. You use them for cruelty. I've seen a man eat his own flesh just to hear the whispers of lizards. I've seen a mother behead her newborn, that she might travel to another world. Galaxies swallow each other whole. Light folds in on itself until nothing remains. You know not cruelty, Mr. Holmes. Cruelty is for such knowledge to be beyond the reach of so many. This is hubris delusion, you are Icarus flying too close to the sun. No, no. You misinterpret the legend, Holmes. Icarus flew! He reached heights no man had ever reached. One must imagine Icarus happy. He burned! Rochester plummeted to his death! And were you to ask him of his choice, he would have not a single regret. Every step I took was necessary. Every drop of blood a blessing. Every death predestined. Surely you understand. It was for knowledge! The only thing worth living for! Why must you remain so blind? Be honest! What is it you fear? Uh, 
I... I am afraid that it will cost me my sanity, much as it has cost you yours. There is no such thing as sanity. There is only the world as it is, and one's willingness to accept it. Truly believe it. That a god arises from below that the world shall end. There is only nothingness. Only chaos and torture and endless time stretching its wings, baring its teeth. It's preposterous. It's nonsense. It's you you've drugged me. Uh, the fumes in the temple, narcotics, a bad reaction. Oh, you're one of my cross agents. 
Yes, this has the stink of my brother all over it. No, 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 wait. Of course, I am dreaming in the asylum. Ah, uh, they've been Black Edelweiss, uh, tied to a chair. You are standing right here, Holmes, as you always do. You, you said that before. You said we had met, but I've never seen you before in my life. The cycle repeats, old becomes new, and we remain pawns in the hands of a god. Submit! Submit to your inconsequence! It is unthinkable. It is undeniable. It... I cannot. When you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Now, Holmes! Now is the moment! You know it in your heart! Say it! Say it! It's... It's real. All of it, it's... It's real. Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are merely a man, and I know how to stop you. What do you mean? What have you done? I have made a friend. Yeah! No! Curse you! Oh, great one, forgive me! It is over, Rochester. I thought this time would be different, but the gods laugh at man's arrogance. Sherlock, come back down! The wave! Come with us! Turn yourself in, save yourself! The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. The final problem approaches, and you too shall fall! Sherlock, please! Rochester, don't! Such heights we reach! No! God! Sherlock, we must get inside! I have to see it, John! I have to know! Apologies, did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no, no. The sound of your keys it is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester? No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Uh, you would be a laughing stock, a fabulist, concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. And I... 
Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? When I close my eyes, John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. It is endless and suffocating and unforgiving. I would give for a dreamless night. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 not that, no, no. <sighs> I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. Ah. <laughs> That's lucky. <laughs> 